NASA's space probe has issued a surprising alert to Earth. Voyager 1, celebrated worldwide for its remarkable journey through space, has surpassed its initial five-year mission, enduring for nearly five decades. Now, Voyager 1 has detected mysterious objects passing through space. What could these unidentified flying objects be? Join us as we delve into how Voyager 1 spotted 300 unknown objects drifting in space. As we admire Earth's majestic natural wonders, its cascading waterfalls, towering mountains, and vibrant ecosystems, it's easy to forget that our planet is just a tiny speck in the vastness of space. For centuries, scientists have pondered the mysteries beyond our solar system and the ever-watchful eye of the Sun Voyager 1 emerged as humanity's bold quest for answers to these timeless questions, venturing beyond the reach of our most powerful telescopes to gather first-hand data about interstellar space and relay it back to us. After decades of unprecedented exploration, Voyager 1 has delivered a stunning revelation, it has detected 300 unknown objects drifting in space. But before we unravel the mystery behind these objects, let's journey through one of humanity's most remarkable space exploration stories. In August 2012, Voyager 1 achieved an extraordinary milestone by reaching the outermost boundary of our solar system, known as the heliopause. However, this feat was no easy task. As Voyager 1 ventured farther from the Sun, its power supply dwindled significantly. The spacecraft relies on three radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, to convert plutonium 238's decay heat into electricity. As the RTG's output wanes over time, Voyager 1's power diminishes, impacting its operations and communication capabilities. To conserve energy, non-essential systems have been deactivated or placed in standby mode. Yet, as power continues to decline, critical systems may require further adjustments to prolong Voyager 1's operational life. Moreover, the vast distance between Voyager 1 and Earth poses communication challenges, with signals taking over 21 hours to travel one way. The transition to interstellar space also subjects Voyager 1 to extreme temperature fluctuations, potentially affecting its materials and systems. Interstellar dust particles further threaten Voyager 1, causing wear and tear on its surfaces and potentially interfering with data collection. Additionally, NASA's Deep Space Network must allocate limited resources for communicating with Voyager 1, making contact opportunities increasingly scarce. As Voyager 1 continues its odyssey through the cosmos, overcoming these challenges will be crucial to extending its invaluable mission of exploration. The ongoing decline in signal strength adds complexity to data retrieval and reliable command transmission. Before we delve further into Voyager 1's recent discovery of 300 unidentified objects, let's reflect on the remarkable achievements of the Voyager probes. The accomplishments of the Voyager twin probes stand as a testament to human ingenuity and our insatiable spirit of exploration. Over four decades ago, these extraordinary spacecraft embarked on a journey that reshaped our understanding of the distant worlds within our solar system. Their early observations of Jupiter and Saturn's moons shattered previous assumptions, revealing these moons to be dynamic and geologically active, contrary to prior beliefs. Voyager 2 particularly stands out for its historic milestones. In 1986, it became the first spacecraft to approach Uranus closely, offering humanity its first close-up view of the planet and its moons. Just three years later, Voyager 2 achieved another groundbreaking feat with its flyby of Neptune, unveiling the wonders of this icy giant. To this day, Voyager 2 remains the only spacecraft to have visited Uranus and Neptune, a testament to its pioneering spirit. As the Voyager spacecraft continued their epic journey, NASA implemented various measures to extend their operational lifespans. Over the past three years, non-essential components and heaters have been deactivated, conserving energy and ensuring these intrepid explorers can continue their mission well into the next decade. Their estimated mission end date is set for 2030, demonstrating the resilience and durability of the Voyager probes. For the dedicated scientists and engineers involved in this extraordinary endeavor, the culmination of the Voyager missions is both a moment of pride and a touch of melancholy. Their unwavering dedication and tireless efforts have exceeded initial expectations. The wealth of data returned by the Voyagers has provided invaluable insights, fueling numerous scientific discoveries and inspiring countless researchers and space enthusiasts. What distinguishes the Voyager probes is their meticulous design as stable platforms with a rotation rate over 15 times slower than the hour hand of a clock. These spacecraft were engineered to minimize visual blurring as they captured images and data while hurtling through space. Even before their encounters with the outer planets, their impressive imaging capabilities began to captivate scientists and the public alike. Months before reaching Jupiter, the Voyager spacecraft began transmitting images of this gas giant, 
mesmerizing audiences at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. These early images showcase the breathtaking swirling clouds and the iconic Great Red Spot, leaving observers awestruck. However, it was the discovery of active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io that truly stole the spotlight. This moon, slightly larger than Earth's moon, turned out to be the most volcanically active body in our solar system. The spacecraft's instruments detected peculiar signals from Io, confirmed by the vivid images they captured, unveiling towering volcanic plumes and a surface scarred by volcanic material ejections. Pele, one of Io's most prominent volcanoes, has erupted with a force 30 times greater than the height of Mount Everest, covering an area nearly the size of France. Although the Voyager spacecraft's cameras were eventually powered down to conserve power and memory before their journey into interstellar space, it's worth noting that the photos they captured did not include Mercury and Mars for various reasons. In addition to the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 interstellar probes, NASA has also operated other notable spacecraft, such as Pioneer 10, Pioneer 11, and New Horizons. Voyager 1 passed by Pioneer 10 on February 17, 1998, marking the moment when Pioneer 10 became the most distant spacecraft. Voyager 1 continued its solitary voyage for another 14 years before finally entering the interstellar environment on August 25, 2012. Although there were no other space probes in sight to catch up with, NASA did not publicly announce this remarkable achievement until 2013, adding to the intrigue and wonder surrounding the Voyager missions. One technique that truly illuminated the legendary Voyager missions was the gravity assist maneuvers. These maneuvers played a pivotal role in propelling Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 on their audacious journey to explore the outer reaches of our solar system. To reach these distant destinations and gather valuable data, the spacecraft required more than just their own propulsion systems, they needed a boost, and gravity assists provided precisely that. Picture the two intrepid spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, embarking on their grand tour of the solar system. Instead of solely relying on their engines, they engaged in a celestial dance with some of our solar system's heavyweight planets. This intricate choreography allowed them to harness the immense gravitational pull of these giants to slingshot themselves on their way. By doing so, they conserved precious fuel and gained the velocity required to visit multiple destinations, leaving behind a lasting legacy of exploration and discovery. As Voyager 1 continues its remarkable journey through space, dutifully gathering and transmitting valuable data back to Earth, the responsibility of examining this data falls on diligent scientists eager to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. Recently, amidst the steady stream of information, a captivating discovery emerged, a signal that perplexed and intrigued researchers worldwide. Voyager 1 had detected the presence of 300 unknown objects traversing interstellar space. These unidentified objects, emerging from the depths of interstellar space, pose a profound challenge to our current understanding of the universe. When Voyager 1 transmitted information, it typically followed a straightforward process, however, on this occasion, the data arrived scrambled and unintelligible. Numerous questions arose, but answers remained elusive. Curiously, despite the peculiar nature of the transmitted data, Voyager 1 itself remained unscathed and continued to operate in remarkable condition. Its communication link with Earth remained intact, and the signal retained its strength, allowing valuable information to be sent to NASA without significant issues. Strangely, none of the spacecraft's fault protection systems were triggered, indicating that it had not entered a protective safe mode as it would in the presence of threats. It became evident that Voyager 1 was not under attack, leaving scientists to wonder what could be causing the scrambled or inaccurate telemetry data. Was it interference from external cosmic phenomena such as radiation or high-energy particles, or could it be attributed to an entirely unknown phenomenon lurking in the depths of interstellar space? If the latter were true, it would challenge our understanding of space and communication in the interstellar realm. To ascertain the truth, a meticulous analysis of various potential factors became imperative. The research team at NASA embarked on a thorough examination of Voyager 1 systems. They carefully considered the impact of cosmic radiation on electronic components and explored the possibility of temperature fluctuations affecting the stability of its sensitive instruments. It was postulated that something unusual might have occurred just before Voyager 1 reached the heliopause, and the natural challenges encountered during that transition could have led to the scrambling of data. However, it became apparent that Voyager 1 was not in an area where these challenges were concentrated enough to pose a significant threat. Consequently, the team also scrutinized the intricacies of Voyager 1's communication systems, investigating potential signal distortions caused by cosmic noise, interference, or subtle shifts in its trajectory. The search for answers necessitated a meticulous analysis of all potential factors. 
The research process was not instantaneous, it spanned several weeks. The team employed advanced data processing techniques, developed innovative algorithms, and simulated various scenarios to isolate the root cause of the unusual telemetry anomalies. This rigorous work finally bore fruit. After months of receiving scrambled data from the spacecraft, scientists and engineers successfully restored the clarity and reliability of the information streaming in from the far reaches of interstellar space. The source of the problem was traced back to Voyager 1's attitude articulation and control system. AACS, which is responsible for maintaining the spacecraft's proper orientation and aligning its high-gain antenna with Earth. The AACS had inadvertently caused the spacecraft's communication systems to misinterpret data as if it were still within the heliosphere, rather than recognizing its current location in interstellar space. Fortunately, the signals received remained strong, allowing the team to correct the issue and continue collecting valuable data. However, as scientists were preparing to implement the fix, they were taken aback by an astonishing observation. 